everyone and welcome to the next video in our series tackling the silhouette design store one <laughs> design at a time um, this design this love gymnastics is design number four 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 six six and it was sent to me because someone wants to put it on a clear tumbler cup and they needed help putting the pieces together because this is the way let me show you it comes through after you purchase it and they needed a little help figuring out how to cut it and how to organize it so that it was easy to cut out of vinyl. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you a little trick that I use all the time. And I'm gonna take a screenshot of just this little piece of what the design looks like in the Silhouette store. And I'm gonna open that with the cut file. And then I have it right there as a reference. So for me on a Mac, I hit Command, Shift, and four. And you'll see my, my mouse turns into crosshairs. And I can just click and drag to select just the part of my screen I want to save. And if you listen, you may have heard the camera sound. That means that tiny little bit has been saved to my desktop. And if you're on a PC, you can use your snipping tool to do um, this same exact thing. And you wanna click and open that up inside of your, um, start when your start menu. And that application will let you save just that little bit too. And this way, when I go back to my cut file, I can click file and merge and then find it wherever it is on my desktop. So I have a ton <laughs> of files here, but this one right here is the Love Gymnastics. And it comes through depending, it might come through pretty tiny, but you can click and make it really big. So you have it here as a reference, at least for not only how the pieces go together, but then if you wanted to fill your pieces with color, you can color match from this too. So that's why um, it comes in handy. So a couple of things here. <clears throat> they wanted this to be clear background, not white, because the clear of the tumbler, tumbler cup We'll show through then. So the way that we're going to do this is really just move the pieces around. And I started with these background pieces. So I'm going to first click and ungroup everything. And then just kind of put it back together um, piece by piece. So the first thing I want to do is this is the inner border, the, the light blue, and this is the outer. So to get these perfectly lined up, I'm just going to click on both of them and then click Object. And then let's see, align and align center middle. So now I have these perfectly centered inside of each other and I can keep moving through. Now, one quick thing to note here is we want um, this, this will actually cut perfect right now. If we cut it right now, it would give us um, a light blue border. But if you wanted to fill this with color right now, watch what will happen if I fill it with a light blue, you can see we're not getting the clear in the center. So remember, whenever you want to fill something but have the gaps not filled, the gaps clear, just like when you weed something to show you where you weed it, you always wanna make it a compound path. So I'm going to unfill it so you can see the difference. And right now I'm gonna click and drag so they are both selected, click Object, and Make Compound Path. And now the difference is when I fill it with that color, do you see it only fills the part that will actually cut from your vinyl. And the part that you weed away is now truly clear here in your design too. So again, you don't have to do that to cut it. But um, I like to do it when I'm working in, the, in my software because it helps me get a better idea, okay, exactly how it's going to weed after I cut it. And let's see, let's color to match this a little bit more. So if I click on the die dropper over here on the right corner, I can now hover over top of that light blue. And you can see that this is nice because it really gives you a better idea of um, exactly um, how the colors fit together if you wanted to keep them exactly the same. Okay, so now the gymnastics part is fine, except for when we ungrouped, um, we lost a little bit of it. So they are now two separate pieces. I'll click and drag to get both the G for gymnastics and then the rest of the word together. And again, group it. And I'll color match it just so we can see exactly how we're recreating this. You can click and drag this one right 
into place. And there's no way to really um, align this one. This one you kind of have to eyeball, but that's okay. Now we'll start to work on um, more of the text. So the first thing we notice is that I believe, it's kind of hard to see, but I believe that this is the black background for the love and for the heart. And it's all one piece, so it's pretty much ready to move, I think. We can click and drag it into place and we'll also fill it black while we are here. Um, and then this is a little bit harder. <laughs> you can see that we actually don't want to cut these in this order. And if we're going to cut them in as few pieces of vinyl and make the application the easiest as possible, we definitely need to move these around a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is fill them with color. I'm going to make them this um, blue up here and I'm going to fill the heart with pink quickly too and that the only reason why I'm feeling it now is because then it will pop off of this love a little bit easier for everyone to see and I'm also going to zoom in here so everyone can see this even better okay so I'm just going to click and drag one by one and move these into place. You can see here the L is a little notched at the top and so is the V and the E. And I believe that's where we're supposed to line up these top letters. So they should cover those top notches. So just the shadow is left behind and that'll work just like that. And then the heart goes on top of that. There isn't any kind of notch here for this one, but it's not that hard to eyeball it just like that. The stars are in place, I believe. Let's see, let's click and drag and we'll see if they fit in here without us having to move any of them around. Those do. Um, the only issue we're gonna have here is we have to fill them one by one because they're each different color. So we'll click on this small guy and fill him with the lighter blue and this other small one and fill him with the darker blue. And then this is a pink and this one is a darker pink, it looks like. Okay, and now we'll check on these three stars and see if these are all in place, okay? And it looks like they are. They fit nicely and same thing, we'll fill them. So we're gonna click and fill them each with color. You don't need to if you don't want, um, but I like to fill them because then it also helps me when I'm starting to set up my layers for cutting. Okay, so this star, it looks like, I we in the picture, it's a little bit darker pink. And so there we go. I wanna just make sure it's a little bit easier for everyone to see that the stars are darker pink um, and can then this star, and it looks like the heart maybe even is the same dark as um, these stars. And so that's how I'm going to cut mine. So the next thing I would do is um, adjust it to size. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just so everyone can see better. Okay, and so now, oops, I didn't wanna do that. I wanna scoot the whole thing up <laughs> so everyone can see this a little bit better. The next thing people always ask is, okay, so now that I have my pieces put back together, how do I cut this? And this one is has a lot of layers. How do I cut it and um, make sure my layers line up? And so you guys know I always use my registration marks. I'm gonna walk you through that process. There will be um, a layer here for every color. So this one is gonna take us a little bit of time, <laughs> but here we go. Um, I'm gonna start by just putting an X at the top of each corner, the top left and the top right. This one's a little big. I usually use for my registration marks either a 36 or a 48 um, size font X. So I'll put one up here, copy and paste it, and put another one over here. And I like this because they're up above the design itself so when I use them I don't have to worry about the design getting in the way of me lining up the registration marks I can do that and then lower my vinyl down into place so we're gonna go through this a lot of times to get each of the layers so I'm gonna start with this light blue I'll click on that hold down my shift key and both X's copy and paste it and before you do anything else Group this together right now so that your registration marks don't move by accident. There's your blue, your lightest blue layer. 
Now I'll click on the back or the black backing here of the love and the heart. Hold down the shift key, both X's, copy and paste, group it so nothing moves by accident. There is your black layer. I'm going to zoom out here so we have more room. Now we'll do um, this medium blue. I'm going to hold down my shift key, click on the three letters that are the medium blue. And I believe this star and this star are also the same color. Always both registration marks. Copy and paste. Group it right now so nothing scoots by accident. There is your next layer. Um, next, we'll do the lightest pink, which it's so hard to see. And really, they're so close together. You could do all four, all four pieces, the three stars and the heart, all the same color if you wanted. Just to show you more detail, I'm going to, um, they looked, <laughs> before I said the heart was the same as the big stars, now it almost looks like the heart is the same as the little star. So I'm going to go with that this time. The heart and this star, both X's, copy and paste, group it and scoot it off to the side. And then both of the big stars, hold down the shift key so you get at them both. Both X's, copy and paste, group it, and scoot it off to the side. And then the last layer would be the medium blue stars and the gymnastics and both X's. Copy and paste, group it, and scoot it over. Now, I just want to go through this because there is a lot on my screen. So, this is what the image looked like in the design store. This is what it looks like all the pieces put together on top of each other. And this is each of the layers. We have one layer for each color. So, just to give you an idea, I would start with the backmost layer and work my way up. So, I'm going to scoot these off to the side and you can cut this however um, it makes sense for you. If you want to cut it one color at a time or if you want to block your mat and put chunks of vinyl around and arrange them all and cut them with few passes through your machine, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to walk you through how I would do it. I would cut this. I always like to start with the back, the farthest back and the biggest piece possible. This kind of gives me a guide as I'm working to make sure my pieces are lining up. So I would cut and weed this first. And then I would probably move on to the black. I would cut and weed this. And when I line it up using the registration marks, make sure those X's are right on top of each other. Then I would probably cut the um, medium blue, the love, same thing. See how I'm lining up my registration marks? And you would do the same thing when you're putting your vinyl pieces on top of each other. Then I would cut the pinks because it looks like the pink heart is on top of that text. So I would cut the pinks next and the pink stars. And I'm purposely saving the gymnastics until the end. Because if you look right here in the original, it's the topmost layer. It's on top of that L. So that's why I'm saving that one till the end. Cut it, weed it, and finally layer it on top of all the rest of those pieces. And now you have this ready to put on your tumbler cup. And in this case, we um, arranged it a little bit differently so that this is technically clear, right? And you will be able to see the um, tum see through this through into the tumbler cup. I hope that helps. If you have a design that you would like help with from the Silhouette online store, just be sure to send me the design ID number and I would love to make a video for you as part of our tackling the silhouette online store one design at a time series. <laughs>